Matt, UFC on ESPN Plus 17. We've got Yair Rodriguez and Jeremy Stevens in the main event, but kicking off our main card, we have Martin El Toro Bravo taking on Steven Ocho Peterson. Listen, you can catch this card on Saturday in Mexico City from the Mexico City Arena in Mexico, and you have to remember that elevation factor. And neither one of these guys are elevating very high in their careers. No. You look at a guy like Martin Bravo. Yes, he's 12-2. and two. He came from the Ultimate Fighter Latin America Season 3, the winner at lightweight, a win over Claudio Polis. But since then, he's dropped two tough fights. One sub-30-second knee knockout loss to Umberto Bandone. He also has a split decision loss to Alex Caceres. You know, you look at Steven Peterson, a guy that, listen, this guy's a gamer. He's one of those regional talents that, listen, you're proud if he's coming from your state or your hometown. But he's just hasn't really cut the mustard no, in the OC. I mean, he's 1-3 and three there. He does have that one win. And he had a tough split decision loss to Benito Lopez. It really shows, uh, you know, what he could do. Dana White's Contender Series Season 1, Episode 7. But, Matt, this is it's kind of a tough one to predict. I mean, the odds are basically pick him at this point. What can you tell us about this fight? I mean, it could be a very entertaining fight, to be quite honest, because neither guy, and this is no disrespect to either guy, they're not really UFC caliber fighters, and the loser is probably going to, you know, probably get cut. But all that being said, it could kind of be one of those, like, sloppy brawls that could be really entertaining in the end. I mean, Steven Peterson's got a ridiculous shit on him. And Martin Bravo, he does have some good skills. You know, he's a good kickboxer. He has good light kicks. He goes up top well. But again, neither guy's going to be in your top 15 or title challengers anytime soon. Yeah, and I mean, Steven Peterson's the type of guy that all of his four fights in the UFC, they've all been decisions, whereas Bravo's had a little bit of a mix in there, especially, you know, yeah, once you factor in that 30-second knock knockout loss. But as far as it's concerned, pick them odds. Taking Bravo in this I'll one. I'll say Bravo by decision as well. Looking forward to it, Matt. Fight Night Picks main card predictions. You've got Rodriguez and Stevens in the main event. Let's get in.